be she. Maddie. Max. Cardio Kid. And Flexi. They're five ordinary kids with an extraordinary mission, which is to help every kid in America to understand how to get in shape and eat right. With a balance of good nutrition and exercise, nothing can get in your way. Join their team and get moving. Understanding how to live healthy, active lives means knowing the five components of health-related fitness. The five components of fitness are cardiorespiratory endurance, muscular strength, muscular endurance, flexibility, and of course, body composition. But don't worry, we'll get to them in a little bit. Knowing the five components of fitness is important because they're with us our whole lives. It's also important that we measure them because when we focus on our fitness, we need to know which component to improve or maintain. By working on cardiorespiratory endurance, muscular strength, muscular endurance, and flexibility, we can maintain a healthy body composition. Staying healthy so that we can move for a lifetime is what it's all about. I'm gonna show you guys some definitions and some movements so that we can move to learn. Let's get started. Cardiorespiratory endurance. To define this one, we have six movements. First movement, heart. Second, lungs. Third, oxygen. Fourth, working muscles. Number five, long. Last but not least, time. Here we go. Cardiorespiratory endurance is represented by Cardio Kid. The ability of the heart and lungs to provide oxygen to the working muscles for a long period of time. Cardiorespiratory endurance. Muscular strength. Five movements are going to define muscular strength. First movement, it's going to be muscle. Second movement, muscles. Third movement, push. Fourth, pull. And last, max. Muscular strength is represented by max. Here we go. The ability of a muscle or muscles to push or pull with maximal force muscular strength. Muscular endurance. There's going to be five movements to define muscular endurance. The first one is going to be muscles. Second, repeat a movement. Third, hold a position. Fourth, long, last but not least, time. Muscular endurance is represented by Maddie. Here we go. The ability of the muscles to repeat a movement or hold a position for a long period of time. Muscular endurance. Flexibility. To define flexibility, we have three movements. First movement, muscles. Second movement, joint. Third movement, range of motion. Flexibility is represented by flexi. Here we go. The muscle's ability to move a joint through a full range of motion. Flexibility. Body composition, there's gonna be three main movements to define it. The first one, relationship. The second one, fat mass. And last but not least, fat-free mass. Body composition is represented by BC. Here we go. The relationship between fat mass and fat-free mass, it's what makes up the body. Body composition. Start in a position similar to crawling with your hands under your shoulders, but your knees further back than your hips. Your toes are pointed away from you. Now lift up one arm toward the ceiling while turning your body. Extend the same side leg straight out while your other leg is bent behind you, like a kickstand on a bike. Return to the original position. Now lift your other arm to the ceiling while turning your body and extending your leg. Remember to have your other knee bent like a kickstand. Lay face down with both legs together and arms out in front of your head. Lift your legs and upper body at the same time. 
Keep your feet together and your arms in front of your head. Lower your legs and upper body to the original position. Legs together and arms in front of your head. Up. Down. To begin, start with a wide stance. Lean to the right. Push on that left leg. You should feel this on the inside of your thigh. And switch. Go ahead and lean to the left. Push down on your right leg. You should feel this on the inside of your right leg. Other side, go ahead and switch. Feel this on the inside of your left leg. To begin, lay down on your right side. Pull your left leg up behind your body with your hand. You should feel this in the front of your upper leg or your quadriceps. And switch. Lay on your left side and hold your right leg. Remember, when we run in place, we want opposition or opposite knee, opposite elbow. Start off slow, up, 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 and as you feel comfortable, start to increase the speed until you are actually running. Keep your head looking forward, elbows and knees bent, pump those arms, opposite, opposite. To begin, keeping your legs straight, try to touch your opposite toe with your hand, and then switch. Start off slow, and as you feel more comfortable and balanced, go ahead and increase the speed. Cross that midline of your body, touching your hand to your toe. Remember, try to keep your leg as straight as you can. Chest up, head looking forward, nice and balanced. Motor skills. Locomotor skip. There are four critical elements. The head, the upper body, the lower body, and the rhythm. The head. The head is stable. The eyes are looking forward and there is no side to side movement. The upper body. The body is upright. The elbow joints are at a 90 degree angle as the arms swing. The arms and legs move in opposition. The hands swing from the waist to the shoulder. The lower body. The opposite knee drives up during the hopping phase. The weight is on the balls of the feet throughout the movement. Forward motion occurs during the hop and during the forward step. Rhythm. A smooth rhythmic speed and distance is maintained throughout the movement. The pattern consists of a step and then a hop. Locomotor skip. Motor skills. Locomotor jump. There are four critical elements. The head, the upper body, the lower body, and the rhythm. The head head is level. The head is facing the direction of travel. The upper body. The core is engaged throughout the movement. In preparation for the jump, the arms are extended behind the body. As the jump occurs, the arms are driven upward. The lower body. The knees flex in preparation for the jump. The weight is on the balls of the feet. The legs extend and push off the balls of the feet upward. The landing occurs again on the balls of the feet. 
rhythm. The pattern consists of a preparation, jumping, and landing on both feet. Transition occurs with consistent speed, distance, and height. Jump. Bring your right arm across your body and squeeze your left trapezius muscle. This muscle runs from your neck to your shoulder. While squeezing your trapezius, look slowly over your right shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. Look up and look down. Switch to your left arm. Bring your left arm across your body and squeeze your right trapezius muscle. While squeezing your trapezius, look slowly over your right shoulder, look over your left shoulder, look up, and look down. Now relax.